to the need for uh, the city of Wilkes-Barre to um, do something over at this um, multifamily complex in terms of their own private security. Sherman Hills clearly has an issue with both safety within the complex and safety issues for the surrounding neighborhood and families. I believe that that place should be required to have 24-7 armed security with gates. I'm also getting um, some messages from tenants who reside in Sherman Hills, and Mr. Barrett, I believe that that is your district. I'm getting phone calls. Um, apparently, there is trash, garbage, cockroaches running through the halls, human waste wiped on the walls, broken doors, and broken locks. This indicates that the buildings have not been inspected by the city health or fire department, and they are probably not within the code. A few years ago, didn't we have an incident with screens not being properly attached to the sill and a child fell out the window? I believe that our District D Council member needs to get over there and perhaps drive through or walk through Sherman Hills and visually inspect the situation. Uh, cockroaches in the building are generally spread throughout the city by the children and adults either at their work or school. So I advise our city health department, fire department to get over there and do something about it. The security issue, that is a privately owned complex. In other cities, complexes of that size generally have their own security. I believe that our police officers do not belong going in there because of the possibility of what happened. And I did mention this in the past, that there was going to be an accident. There is nothing being controlled in that complex. And because of it, a police officer, no less, was shot in the ankle. In terms of the uh, situation where our city is experiencing financial problems, I believe that Drew McLaughlin needs to be terminated. We do not need your services. We do have a city administrator. Your salary can pay a firefighter's or a police officer's salary. And I think our mayor is capable of speaking for himself. So I think your position needs to be eliminated. In terms of the city council, I believe that $350 a week for unproven work hours, which is supposed to be 32.5 hours a week, is an excessive amount of money that you are charging the taxpayers, and you are charging them $1,350 a month. Mike Merritt's charging $1,450 a month, and we still don't know if you are taking the benefits which equal $13,000 a year. I believe that Karen's correct in stating that we do not need two attorneys per the charter. One full attorney is to be paid, and a second attorney is to be used only in situations where there is a need. Apparently, the need has been going on for several years, and we're paying for that additional need. I suggest that the mayor terminate the second lawyer. As far as the city controller is concerned, we never hear from her. We get no reports from her. She never comes to a council meeting. I also think that the buyouts need to be stopped, and there are several council members right now who are taking a $2,500 a year check buyout. Stop it. If you want to save money, then you need to look at yourselves. Don't look at the police. Don't look at the fire. You are overpaid. Spoiled. Absolutely spoiled. Thank you.